So we just looked at the evaporators and they're pretty similar to a residential air conditioning but here's where we start to depart and, and part company from air conditioning itself. And the first thing we're going to talk about is TD versus delta T. First we're going to talk about delta T. That's what we're used to as using as air conditioning technicians. So to measure that delta T we just stick our thermometer in the return air and you put another one in the supply air and you find the difference between the two. So it's pretty simple. We do it all the time. It's usually about 18 to 20 degrees and we use that as a rule of thumb just to, as a quick check to see how the refrigeration system is working. So there's a bit of a difference with a commercial refrigeration system. It is different in that it doesn't have any duct work and if you try and measure the air temperature leaving the evaporator coil uh, you got to put your thermometer right in front of the fan blade and the air is all turbulent and it is really difficult to get an accurate temperature reading. Now the air temperature entering the evaporator on a refrigeration system is easy to measure. You just put your thermometer up in the on the back side of the coil but that air temperature leaving the evaporator you just can't do it. So in refrigeration we use something called um, temperature difference or TD and that is the air temperature entering the evaporator and you find the difference between that and the refrigeration temperature inside of the evaporator. So that is what your difference is. It's a little more difficult, not quite as easy as getting a delta T. So in the in this class and the rest of these classes, we're going to be talking about TD, which is used in commercial refrigeration, and not delta T. So don't con get confused when you, you hear and you see TD. So let's take a look at some uh, different TDs of some different equipment. We'll start out with what we know air conditioning with the uh, air entering the evaporator at 75 degrees and it, the evaporator temperature at 40. The TD is 35 degrees. Quite a bit different than what your delta T is is normally at which is 20. Now our reach ends both have a TD of 20 degrees and walk-ins a TD of 10. So these are good rules of thumb to use here. Most manufacturers design their equipment to have a T TDs in these ranges. So if you're close, uh, you have a pretty good idea that things are working somewhat normally. Okay, so what's this evaporator temperature and how do we get it? Well, it's, it's the temperature inside of the ref evaporator tubing itself. And the way you do this is you hook your gauges up to the suction line and of the system and usually there's a suction port inside the cabinet of the uh, evaporator coil just before it exits the cabinet so it makes it pretty convenient to measure that suction pressure right there at the evaporator rather than having to go out to the compressor and then you refer to your pressure temperature chart for that refrigerant and you just convert the pressure over to temperature or you can use it use your gauges if you have digital gauges or the gauges that have the um, refrigerant scale that you need and from that system pressure you can find its temperature to determine the delta T so let's first of all um, look at the the delta T we're going to review the delta T and then we can see the differences so here's a residential system and when you stick your thermometer down here and you have a return air temperature of 75 you put your thermometer up in the supply air duct work you have a supply temperature of 55 degrees and your delta T is 20 degrees we're used to that so let's take a look at what TD is so we take the return air temperature it's the same 75 degrees we go out to the condensing unit you hook up your gauges and you find the refrigeration temperature is 40 degrees and that is the difference not this the supplier temperature but the refrigerant temperature itself so I want you to pause the video I want you to pull out a PT chart I want you to check R22 and I want you to figure out what the what pressure corresponds to 40 degrees Fahrenheit and what is the TD on this evaporator coil. 